All right, so now that we have a few keywords that we might wanna target, it's time to do some further research and find out how to optimize our content so we have the highest chance of ranking for those keywords. So first, let's go to our keyword list by heading over to the Keyword Manager. Then let's go to the AI Tools keyword list. And here we find all of the keywords that we have added to this list. So as an example, I'm just gonna use this one here, AI Tools for Real Estate Agents. So to do some further investigations, let's click on this keyword. And this will open up the keyword overview for this keyword we have just clicked on. And then here at the top, we can see the same metrics that we have already seen in the keyword research process. So we have the US traffic volume, the global volume, the keyword difficulty, the trend, and also the other metrics right here. But what we wanna do is we wanna scroll down and go to SERP analysis. So this basically shows you what Google actually shows when people type in that keyword. And here you can see the top 10 pages that uh, are visible on Google when people search this term. So what we wanna look at here is what kind of websites are actually ranking for this keyword currently, and then also at these metrics here at the right side. So here we have the page or the, the page authority score. This just means on how authoritative the URL or the website is, which is currently ranking. So the higher the score, the, the more authority this site has. This is based on the amount of links uh, going to this site, the amount of traffic this site gets, and the amount of organic search results this site has. So currently the top website ranking for this term has an authority score of 16, which isn't that high. Then we also have um, websites that have an authority score of even zero. So this definitely tells us that we have a chance of ranking for this term, even though, even if we have a new website that we just started. Then we also wanna look at referring domains. This means how many different websites are linking to this specific page that is a ranking. So the, the top page currently has two um, or has four backlinks from two different domains linking to this, to this page. And then we can also see the second one has 22 different domains linking to the page. And then we, we have these ones which have zero backlinks linking to the page. So again, we can see that even if we don't have a lot of backlinks, we can still rank on the first page. So this gives us a good overview of the top ranking results, but we wanna take a closer look at the search results and see if we can find some patterns of what's actually ranking for this term on Google. So let's open up a new incognito browser window and then type in the target keyword. And then here, let's see if we can find some patterns. So at the top, we have 11 must-have real estate AI tools every realtor needs. Then we have AI tools or AI for real estate agents, nine tools to keep up with the blah, blah, blah. Then we have nine powerful AI tools. So the first thing that I notice here is that usually we have a list. So we have 11 tools, we have nine tools, we have nine tools, we have eight, 53, eight. So what seems to work here for this keyword is just giving a list of the best AI tools. That's already very valuable information because that's, this tells me that usually people click on these uh, list posts. Then next, we also wanna click on each of these pages that are at the top and just see how they are structured, how they structure their content. So this looks like a just a simple blog post where they just list all of the different tools with some images and some further information. Then on the second page, it's kind of the same. We have just a list of all the different tools. So again, this gives me a good idea about how to structure my content to have a high chance of, of ranking for this term as well. And now I'm gonna show you another SEMrush tool that will help you optimizing your content for your target keyword. So let's go back to our tools and then under on page and tech SEO, let's click on SEO content template. Then here, let's enter our target keyword and click on create content template. And then here, SEMrush gives you a few more recommendations when it comes to creating the content for this keyword based on the top results that are currently ranking. So I would look at the key recommendations here. So first we have the semantically related words. These are just keywords that you might wanna include in your content. Then we have backlinks. We're gonna talk more about backlinks later in the video, but these are just similar websites that you might wanna reach out to and get backlinks from pointing to your content. 
Then we have readability. This gives you an average readability score for the top 10 search results. This just means on how hard it is to read the text. On average, we have a score of 50 here. And when we go to the uh, table of what this means, we can see 50 to 60 means it's fairly difficult to read or even college level difficult to read. So this just gives you an idea on how on what is currently working for the top ranking results. And usually you wanna keep about in the same range. And later I'm gonna also show you how to check your content on what your readability score is so you can adjust accordingly. And then lastly, we have the text length. This is actually one of the most important things you wanna consider when creating content for the keyword is that you hit about this amount of words. You don't wanna to go too much above or too much below because this is what's currently working the best. So we wanna make sure to have a, a, let's say blog post that has around 1,400 words. This would be optimal. Great, so now we have some guidelines when it comes to creating content for our target keywords. Now I wanna show you the SEMrush Writing Assistant, which is gonna help you to stay in those guidelines when actually creating the content. So on the left-hand side, let's come to Content Marketing, and then let's click on the SEO Writing Assistant. And then we already have the keyword here because we have created an SEO template for this keyword. So let's click on Quick Check. And then here we can just paste in our content to see what recommendations we get from SEMrush uh, for us to optimize our content for our target keyword. So just as an example, I'm gonna go to one of these results that came up for my keyword and I'm just gonna paste the content that they have to see if we get some recommendations here for their page. So let's just go back here and then paste that in. And then we can see here on the right side that they're doing a pretty good job. So they have a 7.8 out of 10. The SEO is pretty good, readability is pretty good, tone of voice is good, but the originality could definitely be improved. Now, what I would do here is then start and just click on each of these categories. So let's start with readability and then just go through the list down here. So here, first of all, we have the readability of 43.9 and it should be a 50 or around 50. So it's actually pretty good. It's pretty close to 50. Then this should definitely be improved. So we wanna have a, a bit more content here because the target would be uh, 1,431 words and we only have 1,078. So I would definitely make this content a bit longer to hit this word count right here. Then we can scroll down, title issues. We have no issues here. Then um, we should split long paragraphs, write hard to re rewrite hard to read sentences and so on. So again, just uh, go through the list and make sure you fix these issues. The same thing with SEO, just click on SEO and then uh, look at all of these things that, uh, that SEMrush recommends and fix these issues. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up position tracking for your target keywords so you can always stay updated on what your current ranking is in the Google search results. So to do that, we're gonna come over here under keyword research and go to position tracking. Then here, just type in your website's URL. So I'm just gonna use the uh, website of SEMrush and then click on setup tracking. Then under location, I'm gonna set it to the United States and click on continue to keywords. And then here we can now enter the keywords that we want to track or we can also import them from a file. So just as an example, I'm gonna enter a few keywords and then click on add keywords to campaign. Then they will be shown down here. And now if you leave this option ticked, then you will get a weekly email updating you about your current ranking for these keywords. So let's click on start tracking. And now the ranking for the keywords that we have added will be tracked for our website and we can see all kinds of data here. So under overview, you can see the average visibility for all of our keywords, the average position uh, for the keywords. So um, what we wanna look at is basically just at the position and also if something has changed. So if we lose a position, then we probably wanna look at why that is. Maybe we need to send some more links to that page or we need to optimize the content in a certain way. So that's just something you need to keep track of because um, that's eventually where your traffic is coming from. 
Now I wanna show you how to find the keywords that your website is already ranking for, but you're not at the first position on Google yet, which means you could potentially get a lot more traffic if you were to optimize your pages and rank higher or even rank on the first position of Google. Because let's take a quick look at this study that backlinko.com has done, which shows us how much of the traffic the first, second and third until the 10th position is getting compared to the other positions. So the first position on Google usually gets 27.6% of the traffic, which is almost double what the second position gets. And it's 10 times as much as the ninth position on Google. So let's say we are currently sitting at position five for our target keyword, but if you were to optimize our page and maybe also send some more backlinks to this page, then we could potentially end up in position one and get over four times the traffic that we have gotten before. So improving your pages that are currently sitting at position two to about 15 for a specific keyword that is relevant to you is one of the best ways how to spend your time and resources in order for you to get more traffic to your website. So now I'm gonna show you how to use SEMrush to find the keywords where you are currently sitting at position two to 15 and where it might be worth it to optimize the pages that are ranked at that position. So let's head back over to SEMrush and then let's go to organic research. Then here type in your website. I'm gonna use another one this time. I'm just gonna use MailerLite, which is an email marketing platform. Let's click on search. From here, let's go to positions. And then we can see the keywords that currently are getting us the most traffic. Now we can still see the keywords where we are currently at position one. So we wanna filter those out by going to positions and then we're gonna do a custom range from position number two to position number 15. Let's click on apply. And this gives us a list of all of the keywords where we are currently at position two to 15. And what I would do also is start with the easy keywords first. So let's go to keyword difficulty here and then let's look at the very easy ones first. And here, for example, we can see for the keyword November newsletter, this gets about 390 searches per month and we are currently at position three. We can also look at the page that is ranking for that keyword. This is how it looks like. So MailerLite actually has a blog post about the uh, 93 special events to inspire your November newsletter. So this is relevant to uh, this keyword. So it might be worth it to look at this page and see if we can optimize something or see if we can send some more backlinks so we can get from number three to number one and potentially get a lot more traffic. But now, how do we know what we need to optimize on our page to potentially boost our rankings? Here is where I would use the SEMrush on-page SEO checker. So let's open this up in a new tab. Then here we have to enter our domain. So in this case, this would be mailerlite.com. Then United States is fine. And then here we wanna go to manually and then enter the page we are trying to optimize. So let's come back here. And let's say we wanna increase our ranking for this keyword, travel landing page. Currently we are sitting at position six and this is the page that we are ranking for this keyword. So let's copy the keyword and then go back to the on-page SEO checker, paste in the keyword here. And then we also want to paste the page we want to optimize. So that's this one. So let's copy that as well and then paste that in here. Then click on add page and collect ideas. Then once it's done loading, let's click on optimization ideas. And then we want to filter by the page we want to optimize. So we can either enter the keyword here or the URL. I'm going to just paste in the URL here. And then we can see here's the URL. This is our target keyword. And SEMrush gives us four ideas of what we could optimize. So let's click on four ideas. And then we get to the suggestions. So MailerLite actually does a pretty good job optimizing all their pages for SEO. So there aren't too many suggestions, but one thing that we could do uh, under content is focus more on creating a more informative content. So the competitors use long form content on their web pages, 
which are ranking higher. So this might be something to think about. Then uh, the content should be a bit more readable. And then when we scroll down here, we could add a few more related keywords like landing page template or social proof. And then we can also try and get some more backlinks from these sites here. You can also click on detailed analysis to see some more information about uh, how many times the competitors who are ranking higher are using specific keywords. So you can really get uh, into the details here for these suggestions, but it's definitely gonna give you a good guideline of what you can optimize in order for you to boost your rankings.